Hi guys and welcome back to Crafty Quilt and Designs. I hope you're well and having a really great day. Well guys, welcome to 2022 and Happy New Year to you. And if you had a really great celebration, well, I'd love to hear all about it. What did you do for your New Year celebrations? How did you bring in the New Year? Well, I spent mine with my husband, of course, and uh, my niece and her fiance and her mother. And we ran out to dinner and had a really beautiful time. And then we went back to their place and had some fireworks, which was so amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed the fireworks. It was just like poof, 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 poof. It was brilliant. You know, I mean, it was the first time I've actually been so close to fireworks. It was amazing show he put on for us. So um, thank you, family my niece she is so lovely with her fiance well guys so the first quilt this year is um, a disappearing hourglass quilt i did put up a blog to let you know what i was working on so hopefully you check that out but if you didn't go by all means and have a look at it and let me know what you think but i've got the completed quilt here for you to see now so i'm going to take you through how i actually made it i have some really beautiful plans coming up for the new year and um, for the channel and obviously i will share that with you when the time is right because i want to get it all right <laughs> when i actually say what i have to say but um for the for, for the near future i would say that um i am starting a new year quilt along so i'm really looking forward to that I've also started working on that as well and I did share a little sneak peek of the center block on my community community page on the um, YouTube channel so go check that out and let me know give it a thumbs up because that encourages me to let me know that you will be taking part so yeah so go check that out guys and let me know your feedback all right but for right now, let me take you through what I did with, it, with this um, this pair in our glass. I speak so quickly sometimes. You know, my brain runs away before my mouth can catch up. Does that happen to anybody else? Let me know because those are just me being a chatterbox. <laughs> well, guys, once again, happy quilting, happy new year. And I wish and pray that all of your dreams and aspirations come through for you. You know, we make all of these promises to ourselves, and sometimes we put so much pressure before the year is even started. We do that. So um, I try not to do that to myself. I already had enough pressures as life already as it is um, to add any more further pressures onto me, I think is just to give myself a stressful time. But saying that, I would say let's move on. See this quilt. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Hook me up with a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And even if you don't like it, still give me a thumbs up. Because, you know, it takes a lot of hard work to do this. It's not roses and cream or cherries and cream or peaches and cream. Which one is it? Or strawberries and cream? One of those. But you get the gist. So, guys, once again, let's go check it out. Bye for now. Happy New Year. <laughs> We need some two and a half inch squares. So I'm going to cut the quantity that's required. And I'm just cutting a strip. And from there, I will then cut them into two and a half inch squares. So um, my strips I'm cutting here is 2.5 as it is. And then from there, I'm just gonna cut them into squares. So I've cut three strips there. And all you need to do is just simply stack them and cut them together so that your cutting goes very quickly. Just make sure they all line up properly so that you can get a good cut. Once you've done that, you'll have your squares like that. Um, for my fabric, I am cutting 10 inch square so this is quite easy to do so this is all of my extra fabric that I'm using up here and I'm going to cut a strip off well I'm going to cut a 10 inch strip off and all I'm doing literally is folding and allowing all of the edges to meet together and I'm just going to simply cut a 
fresh cut even though it's lined up nicely actually but I'm just going to cut it off just to make sure I prefer to do that rather than risk it not being straight now if you're going to fold make sure your edges at the end here is on a straight line as well at the top there and there is no folds but I can feel a little bit there so I'm just going to flatten it out lovely give myself a fresh cut always give yourself a fresh cut so that way you know that the edges are straight and make sure you have a nice sharp blade on and then count your 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then you simply just cut them into 10 inch squares okay and put that bit on the side so now I'm going to take this again because my edge there is um, the salvage I'm just going to trim that off and then that way I can then count my tens across so again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten or if you have a ten inch square you could put this on and then simply cut so I'm just going to move this over there because I know it's 10 and line it up there and I have two 10 inch squares move that up again so quite quick and simple using leftover fabric Well, so I've got a half there lovely so that's I'm gonna line it up right on the end just to be on the safe side just gonna measure that there yes it's 10 and just move it down now if you're interested in getting this um, 10 inch square you can simply go to my blog and order one and I'll be happy to send it over to you right so I'm just gonna open this now and move this to the side And do one more cut. I'll pick up the wrong ruler. So that there and on there. And because my strip is 10 inch, obviously it's going to go a lot more easily. Alright. And that's all my cuts done so far. So now, what I need to do now is get my other fabric and all I need to do is to lay them front sides right, together. Now. So let's um, put the block together. It's quite simplistic. Take your 10 inch squares. So I have my solid blue and a print blue, okay? Put them together, make sure that they're all leveled up and we're going to sew all the way around using a quarter inch seam. Once you've done that, you are then going to draw a solid line from point to point there just making an X at the back of your um, square we're going to cut it and try not to um, actually move the square once you have placed your first cut down okay it's very important that you don't do that okay I mean at this point a spinning board or would be ideal so that way you don't have to necessarily move it All right, so you get it apart, and basically what you've done is made some half square triangles. Okay, now you need to set the seams on these, okay, and just iron them open. Now, when I've, I've just set the seam, and I've literally just opened it and put the hot iron literally on the middle. All right, so once you've done that, what you need to do now is start the layout. So... This is what you end up with. So I've already set the seams on these ones here and you need to lay them out. Now, you need to be very careful once you start putting these together because it can get um, sort of complicated quite easily. So once you've opened up, if you were to stitch them together in this way, you will make a pinwheel. All right, so you just gotta be mindful of that. What we're aiming for 
is a hourglass so angle two of your prints to the center and the solids to the center so you get that hourglass oops I turned that the wrong way around okay so that is your hourglass block there all right so then you will sew these two together and these two together and this is what it would look like okay all right so that is what you're aiming for so just remember very important once you stitch these two together do not sew them together this way because you will then get a pinwheel so it's very important that you put the cut sides together and that's what my sort of brain remember is like when I said the cut side of the fresh cut side there where you literally did that particular X cutting at the original point after sewing it all the way around so this is your block okay so we're going to sew this together now And this is what you will end up with. All right, so this really nice, simple block comes together very quickly. Okay, so you've got your hourglass in either the print or the solid. All right, now the next stage now is to use up your 2.5 squares. Now, what we need to do is to now, let me bring this black in, is to now add on the 2.5 and we're literally going to snowball each corner so I'm adding on that there on each corner I'm simply going to snowball it so all you're going to do is to run a stitch from there there so you're going to draw your line at each point so remember when you draw your line that you are literally going to be drawing from this point to both points of that square that's to the edge of your block so you're not drawing a point from the center of that particular square all right so it's from this end to that end that you're drawing the line and you're going to stitch on that line and then once you've done that, this is what it's going to look like. So you've changed your blocks slightly. So this is the block we're aiming at. So get all the blocks together, all of your 10 inch squares together, and then you can make all of your blocks. And then we can start laying out and see what sort of formation we need to go to.
so I went ahead and stitched the quilt top together so at the top there you can see the borders the first border that's added on and I've used the same color that's within the quilt top and then I've put a final border at the end there So let's get it all stitched together and then see the completed look with the borders added on. So the quilt is complete and the quilting is completed also. Now it did not take long. I did a lot of dot to dot quilting within the hourglass block. And some of them I did do little variations. For, for example, that one there. But I didn't do it in all of them. It was just random areas around the edge of the actual quilt top itself that I did that particular um, pattern of printing. In the corners I did dot to dot as well with some um, feathers. Now one of the beautiful things is that because it's an hourglass, a disappearing hourglass block, you get a star with the floral print and you also get uh, a diamond as well with this solid color very lovely very nice the quilting pattern as well the dot to dot also gives it another secondary um, pattern as well which is fantastic because that is more or less created on its own without you having to do anything other than do dot to dot so it's come together really nicely the borders are three inches for the inner border which is this one here. This one here is um, a four and a half inch border and I also kept the binding blue. So it's blue on blue on blue. So different shades of blue which I think has come together really beautifully. So this hourglass, this is a pen hourglass block quilt. It's lovely. You get a lot of star patterns but what I love about it is that you've got to look for it. And when you stand back from a distance you can actually see them so if I just focus in there for you so obviously I'm focusing on one there and that's another one there and if I move slightly up you can see another one move across so absolutely beautiful it's another one in the middle there really lovely you know and um, I would inspire you to to actually have a go at this disappearing our glass that gives you this because the only changes I've done is to add this particular color here on the edges that's all I've done to the block so in each four corner is what I did so remember this is your block here okay and all I did was add cornerstones to the edge of the block just to change it which gave you that secondary pattern of the stars all right so guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and of course, Happy New Year once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, and happy quilting.